My name is Bill Sontag, and I live in Manaway, Ohio. And uh, I built this tractor. It took me uh, three winters to build it. That was just a wintertime job because I had other stuff to do in the summertime. And I never had anything to do with tractors. Never worked on them, never built them. I just copied this from a to, to another fellow who was re rebuilding, and uh, that was my main idea. And my blueprints and all that other fancy stuff I don't have, just little sketches that I would drive up about three miles, make a sketch and come back and build it. And then, Ask him for a carburetor sometime, or one time. I built that, took it back. He gave me a magneto to take home and rebuild. And I just have to figure out how to make them out of wood. I spend most of the time looking at the thing and figuring out what to do. So that's how I got started on that stuff. Why did, this, why did you decide to make a wooden one? Just I told to do? The, I told the fell up there. I said, I don't want one of these. He said, I said, I was not going to make one out of wood. And uh, there were three fellas standing around the floor. Everybody laughed. And so about a year later, I had started pretty good. And then they got interested in it. And they came down and watched me build it a little bit. And that's how I got started. I don't want a metal one because that's just taking them apart and putting them back together and cleaning them up. And, and I used the same parts and everything. I made mine out of a pile of wood. <laughs> so that's, that's how I got started doing that. And it turned out fairly decent. I'm sort of proud of it. I don't know what else is. Well, let's talk about the, uh, everything on here is wood. Everything is wood. I've got over a thousand board feet of one by six treated wood in it. I made out of treated wood because they're going to leave it out in the yard. But it started turning out so good that I just kept doing more and more and putting more stuff on it and making them look more like a tractor. And and that's how it turned up. And I had it painted and striped and all the letters and nuts and bolts. Why they're so perfect, they're cut with a laser. I had a computer uh, cut the laser, uh, make a chip for me, and I took it over to okay. well, it has a laser. And I'd give him the wood, different thicknesses. And he cut out my mut nuts and bolts and and all the lettering and gave me a pattern. I laid it on the wheel and laid all the letters on that and the numbers. And then I put little uh, brads in there just to make the holes in the wood. And I took it all off and put them all back on. That's why it's up there. But I'm not that good in shape and stuff. <laughs> I noticed some thin pieces of wood that are curved, like the spark plug wires, and looks like the... The spark plug wires, I started out, I didn't have any vines that I knew would I could bend. So I got gray vines. But they don't have very good bending power. You can... Uh, every leaf on there is like a branch on a tree. Yeah. It's a knot. And right there, it doesn't bend... And after you bend it so much, it'll break. So I sent to California and got uh, some regular caning or whatever they call it to make baskets with. And then I were good. You could heat, wet that and form it. And then stay where you put it. It was pretty good. All right. Uh, how much does it weigh? 1,980 pounds. That's without the cart. 
I don't know what the card is. I didn't make that. That's all aluminum. And uh, the, uh, I have a designer, and he made it for me. Sounds good. There's nothing moving inside. 